Music to your slideshow. And now we have another caller. We have Bill on the line from Woodstock, Georgia. Thank you. Hello, Bill. How are you? Hello, Bill. Mr. Bill. Yes. There he is. How are you, Bill? Doing fine, Leo. What, what can I do for you today? Uh, well, I have use of a laptop PC that runs Windows XP Professional. Okay. I only have guest right. Yes. How can I configure this PC to give me administrative right without having to go through the company's PC support department? Right. You want to do it yourself. Yeah. Now, there, there's probably a reason why the company doesn't give you uh, administrative rights. You, you, yeah. sure, you sure it's okay with them that you do this? Yes. I, I, I want to do things like uh, give a, uh, printer access to this laptop right. on my home network. It's very common for uh, companies to lock down their systems, and there are a couple of reasons. You, you recently, you remember the, uh, the virus, uh, that uh, Zotob virus that spread through CNN and Disney and so forth? Yes. That got in. I mean, CNN has great protection, great antivirus virus filtering and everything, it got in because some executive took the laptop home, got infected, brought it in and p connected it to the company network, and now it's like a Trojan horse. It's, in, it's intruded into the network behind the, uh, the defenses, and it's spread throughout the network. So it's very common for IT departments to prohibit people from installing stuff, uh, but, and all you have to do is make, you, make it a limited user, and that will protect you and the company against uh, invasions of spyware and viruses. So... Uh, you might ask the IT department if you're if you're allowed to do this stuff, but it, it is possible to make yourself an administrator. You, you basically have to hack the machine. I, what I saw on the net looked fairly advanced of getting into the registry and whatnot. Uh, wanted to, it made me go a lot further than I was comfortable in going. Right. Well, uh, I'm going to assume that you're going to get permission to do this because yes. I don't want to show you how to hack something. I mean, and I do have virus protection on the machine. Well, it's more than viruses, Bill. It's spyware and all sorts of stuff. And the problem with Zotob was it spread so fast, it outpaced the ability uh, of the antivirus companies to update it. So I once think. again, I, uh, there's a reason why they set it up that way. And, you're, and if you're going around their policy, it could cost you your job. So I just want you to understand yes. that that's a company computer, and there's reasons why they limit it. However, it's just between you and me, it's very easy to give yourself administrative access. The first thing you want to do is is basically blow out the passwords. And I've recommended this program many times before. Everybody who uses Windows should have it. It's the Emergency Boot CD. Now, if the, it, this is, by the way, why many companies also take the CD driver out, because this is the kind of thing you can do. You install this program. It's actually not even a program. You make a CD out of this thing. You burn it to a CD, okay. and you boot to it. And all of a sudden, what you're doing is you're booting into Linux. You're not booting into Windows. And, the, and one of the things Linux allows you to do is blow out all the passwords and start okay. all over again. So you can create a new administrative password that you know, and uh, you can modify it. Now, they'll know you've made this change. Oh, okay. Yeah, because then they cannot get it. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> okay. So, so, so edged sword. But I... So it, it's not going to be secret. Okay. Um, but understand that, you know, uh, the, the company is, again, they're, they're trusting you with this hardware, and they don't want you to bring it back to the company and infect them with a virus or spyware. So.